Fornicators. No, what's the advantage? What's the advantage? Why should I try sodomy? What's the advantage? I know. I use it. I use it for the reason. I use it. I expel. God didn't make my private member to be put in sewage. No. 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 And that's why a lot of men that were taking up money to have a, a sodomite fund to help them get rid of all the diseases. I've got a better cure. Just don't get the disease. I know, but some some women they they say they say homophobia. Now, what that word homophobia really means? It's talking about it's a smokescreen for the sodomites to say the homo agenda. I don't think you're homophobic. I think you're homo antagonistic. I know, but they say homophobia to try to put a smokescreen so that we won't. We'll get off the issue of that it's morally wrong. You're right. We're all witches, really. Morally wrong. The devil. What does God say about sodomy? I didn't ask him. I know, but you should. Why? Because he's going to judge you. Says who? Says God. I think I'm going to judge He said, you. no, you won't no. judge me. Says me. No, I will judge the angels. I'm I going to judge the, the angels. angels. But. God said that Jesus, all judgment has been given to Jesus. But what does sodomy have to offer me? A Nothing. Feeling in your ass. What can I say to that? I don't know. What can you say to it? I would say I would rather be obedient to God than to have some kind of a good feeling. Uh, I mean, I could just go to, to the toilet room, I think, and do okay with that. Just, yeah, I could just go and, and uh, well, I'm not going to say, but let me, uh, let me say, no, I don't do that. I don't masturbate. You don't? I don't masturbate. No. No, I don't. Because I want to be, I want to have a marriage. I want my marriage to mean something. Do you, do you not want to have a marriage? With, have, have you ever thought about having a wife? I know, but have you ever thought about having a wife? What would I even do with a wife? Well, you could do what what you know to do with a wife. That's what that's the natural. Even the animals, even the animals know what to do with a wife. You don't want to have a wife. Is that not important to you? No, not at all. I don't want to have a wife. Have you ever wanted to? No. Not from time you were a little boy. No. You say no like that. That's normal. That's a normal answer. It is. I don't feel that way. Well, I don't feel your way. My daddy didn't feel that way. Okay, my grandmother, my grandfather, my aunts, my uncles, my, my neighbors. Feel that way. You're the my first. You're the first one I've ever heard say that, that it was that way. So I wouldn't say that I'm it's the normal. First one you've ever heard say I didn't want a wife? Yeah, you're the first wow. one. You must not have asked very many people. Even Paul. Even Paul. I don't want a wife. Even Jesus, he's going to have a wife. Even Jesus. Well, I do want a husband. I'll take one of those. Even. A long time. I'm even. Fornicate for a while first. <laughs> How did the word sodomy come into play? How did the word sodomy come into existence? Well, it's English. That's what it means. Settled. That's that's for that's for a homosexual. That's the word before homosexual. Did you know that the word homosexual didn't exist until the 1800s? That that word is that's why I'm asking you. Before, before that, before that, it was sodomy. That was the, that was what it was, sodomy. How did that word come about? Do you know the history of it? Hmm. I think it's a misinterpretation of the Old Testament. Well, what do you well, think? What's the, well, what's the true interpretation? Well, what does the Bible say that the true sin of Sodom was? Overeating, being overfed, and being prideful. That's two. You got yeah. two. You got two of them. The first one was pride. Pride. And you know what? I said pride. I know. You got the first one right. study religion. You got the first one right. The, the, the Bible said the sin of Sodom was pride. Pride. The first one, pride. Even their chosen people, Israel, God's chosen people, He said to them one time because of the sin that they were doing, He talking about them, He said, His own people, He said, they 
are as Sodom. They parade their sin like Sodom. What do we have to hear today? A, par a sodomy pride parade. A pride parade. That's what they sin of Sodom was. Pride. And what do we have here today? God said in, in the Old Testament, they parade their sin like Sodom. And what are you doing today? We're having parading our sin, just like it's a glory. Oh and God, that's what you, that's what that woman just that, said. That it's sin? no sin. It's no sin. Is they parade it. We no, no. We, they used to be in the closet. Thanks Were you ever in the closet? Sin. Are you in the closet? Are you in the closet? Do I look like I'm in the closet, sir. I'm asking you. <laughs> You're in the closet. I am not in the closet. Have you come out? Oh, yes. Well, everybody's oh, going to yeah. celebrate. He's come out of the closet. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Woo! Yes, we elect to live in the closet. You know, if he come out of the closet, if he came out of the closet saying, I committed an abomination. I'm sorry. I'm coming out of the closet. I did a wicked, abominable thing. If that's what he did, then he did something good. He come out of the closet confessing his sin. Then he did something good. But if he come out of the closet saying, Oh, look at me. I'm a wicked, perverse person. And I'm going to spread it. And I'm going to give AIDS to all the people. And I'm going to send people. If he's coming out parading his sin, then that's not good. That's not good. Because the Bible says, if a man, after he's been reproved, he continues to harden his heart, shall suddenly be cut off, and that without remedy. Now that's serious. That's serious when you get cut off and there's no remedy. And that's what you're heading for when you come out of the closet, not in repentance, not in confessing your sin, but in parading it. That is dangerous. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. That's very dangerous. Now, these, these girls and that young boy, they are being very foolish because they're young and they feel like, hey, I can't be hurt. I can handle anything that comes. And there's going to be some of these young people today. They, they came into this place as a straight person, but next week they're going to, some of them, they're going to be caught in a trap and heading for hell unless they get out of that trap. Now, that's why it's serious to, to be careless with your soul. Now, that lady right there, she looks like a young lady. She looks like she's got a uh, tender heart to her. She's got smiles, and she looks pretty innocent. But she is playing with a dangerous thing. Now, if I had a son, and he... Well, good. I say, I say you look I'm like you're doing good. Man. Well, that's yeah, not good. China. That's not good. That's not good. So you, so you are definitely on some thin ice uh, with your soul, with your soul. And when you fall through that ice and drop into hell, there is nobody that's going to pull you out of hell. God hates sin. God hates sin and He is angry with the sinner every day. If you're sinning and you're not giving any regard to God, then God is angry with you every day. Just like a parent gets angry if he's if a, a daddy, a father, he's got some children and they're disobeying him continually. Now he loves those children, but he's angry with them. And I've had my daddy to be angry with me before. I've had my daddy to be angry with me. In fact, I can remember one time. He told me and my two sisters, he said, you stay in your yard. When I'm gone, you stay in your yard. Don't you go out of your yard. And he told us that. We knew he meant it. But it was summertime, summer vacation. We were in school, out of school. And Daddy's off at the furniture factory. He's working. 
And so I'm thinking, well, I want to go and play basketball at my neighbor's house. I'm going to go and I'm going to disobey what my daddy says to do. I'm going to go play basketball. So that's what I did. I went out of my yard. I did what my daddy said. Don't do that. But I got by with it. I got by. I didn't get caught. So I tried it again another time. And I got by with it again. But one time, I went out of my yard, up to the neighbor house, playing some ball. And my daddy got off work early that day. He came home, and he caught me out of my yard. And my daddy was angry with me. Even though he loved me, he was angry with me. And God the Father is angry with you every day that you are sinning. He's angry. He loves you. My daddy loved me. But God is angry with the sinner every day. God is angry every day. But God loves. That's right. God loves. But on the day of judgment, is God going to love you on the day of judgment? That's the question. Now, it may be that the very angels that right now are guarding you, your guardian angels, it may be that those are the very angels that pick you up and cast you into the lake of fire. Your own guardian angels. Wouldn't that be awful? The angels that's your best friend right now while you're on the earth trying to help you, trying to guard you, trying to head you down the straight and narrow way. Those on the day of judgment, those may be the very angels that God says, go find him hand and foot and cast him into the lake of fire which burneth with brimstone. And there won't be any comedians on that day. No comedians. Now, it's good to be serious about the things of God. It's good to be serious about the things of God. But in America, nobody's serious anymore. Nobody's serious until until Orlando, until Orlando, in Orlando, then people, a man doesn't get laid. A, a lady does that. Lady. And it's supposed to just be a wife. Not not just anybody, but it's supposed to be your wife. So, what is your definition of that? Well, the Bible says that a man will love his wife enough to lay his life down, leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife. And they too shall be... So you're saying shall be, can have and, sex with and his they, wife, is what you're saying. And those two shall be one flesh, right. And, and the, the Bible says that all in marriage, the bed is undefiled. You can, ha you can be with your wife in pleasure. You can put your hand on, on wherever you want to put your hand on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a passenger too. I'm not even, I don't know why he came over and started talking to me. I just asked him when was the last time he got laid. He's like, a man does not get laid. All right. A man and gets married. Said, and it also said, a man and a woman should not have sex. Tell me that is not in the Bible, so I can go on my day. <laughs> now, I'm not saying you're going to be messing with I'm the incorrect one. When well, you try to come to my face and tell me it's not in the Bible, and I am a full grown Christian, nigga, you done messed up. Nigga, you done messed up. Don't try me. Don't try me. I'm already fucking pissed today. And why, well, I just had the one, why weren't you with the but other says, protesters? Why are you here by yourself? Did says, they cast you out too? It says that the wives should submit themselves to their own husbands. Oh, so, oh, I'm definitely oh, not only you submit to your husband, but you also submit to your wife. Yes. 
not only do you hate gay people, you're also saying a woman can't speak for herself. Is that what you're saying? You need to get your mouth washed out with soap. That's what the teacher says to you. He says to go wash your mouth out with soap. No, he never told me that. He never told me that. But God if said God this. Told me something, I would have felt the Holy Spirit like he has told me and many a time. Do not tell me. I don't care what Bible that you go by, but I do not listen to falsehood. And you, sir, are doing falsehood. Don't try to come to me. Do not. Yeah. A marriage, but you're not gonna get the marriage that you want just going any old way. You have to guard your heart if you want to have a meaningful marriage. You've got to guard your heart. Now, you out here are doing all kinds of abominations and thinking that it's not gonna affect your heart. And it's not gonna how are you gonna go to somebody and say, I'm gonna be your wife and then tell them that you've been a, a lesbian? I've heard Sodomites say that that's the Old Testament, and the Old Testament does say that. But I want to read you something from the New Testament. Okay, now this is not sodomy. This is just regular fornication. This is regular. This is regular fornication. For at the window of my house, I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones, I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding. Passing through the street near her corner, he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman, the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. She is without, now in the streets, and lieth in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an impudent face, in with an impudent face, said unto him, I have peace offerings with me. This day have I paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee, diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved, with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrhs, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with love. For the good man is not at home. He is gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him. Will come at the day appointed. With her much spare speech, she calls him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stock till a dart strike through his liver as a bird hasteth to the snare and knoweth not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths, for she hath cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death.
Guys, do we mean disrespect to people that have their own belief? No. He has his belief. We respect him, right? Yes. I mean, we just wish that you would respect us too. Okay? Hey, dude, I'm, don't I'm, be I'm doing you all over me. I don't. I don't. I'm, all they're I'm saying is that Krusty Krab is unfair. I don't but know what I'm saying. These are my friends. Yeah. You know? We may not we may not listen. If you didn't hear your friends are going to hell, you're on the internet. We're just picking on you, man. Sir, we don't mean any disrespect to you, okay? All these people, we're loving people. I respect you just as much as anything. I know. We're loving people. I know that. I know that. I know you're just having a good time. I don't take offense. Yeah, we're loving people. I know that. I know that. But listen, I know, but listen, what you don't realize. You don't realize. Mr. The, the only thing you have to do to go to hell, you don't have to murder somebody. Yeah. You just have to never get serious about your soul. That's all you have to do. Yeah. Just never get serious. Yeah. It's, it's okay to play when you're a child to play. Yeah. But y'all are not children. You're, you're younger than me, true. But you're, but you're no one, no one is a child in the in, child, in the Lord's eyes. No, the Lord realizes that an eight-year-old. It's not going to have responsibility. Well, yes, but we're not adults. I mean, no, we're not adults. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. No, yeah. we're not yeah. children. Absolutely, yes, sir. So, my point is, I've got to, I've got to, you see that picture right there? Yeah. You know what that woman did? What? She committed adultery. Now, she, she's paying for it. She committed adultery. I that's know. not ISIS. I've seen that. I've that's seen not that. ISIS. That's not ISIS. That's I've seen some terrible things. That's her rant. Now, she, she she's not like America. She, yeah. She's ne she's never. I'm not I'm not mean to offend you. I'm not gay. I'm just supporting my gay friends. Same. Yeah. My, my point is, she's from a country where uh, see how she's dressed. That's the way they dress. And never you don't ever see their even ankle. That's what I love about this country. Well, you know, I know you do. But I'm, yeah. I'm just saying you can do that, and she can. But even even within a country where they, they're not in any way frivolous with things, she still messed up. She committed adultery, yeah. and she she's paying for it. Oh yeah, I'm, now, I mean, I, my, my point is this. My point is this. She is serious. Look at her. She's going to be dead. Now that's 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 like five minutes from then. She's going to be dead. Yeah. And she she realizes that. She's finally serious. That's what I'm trying to say to you. But do you, it, think, the do you think she was serious? Yeah. Yes, I'm sure she would. That's what, look at her face. She's not smiling all happy day. She's regretting yeah. that what a foolish decision. I'm saying, this is America. People are open to have their open hearts, you know. I'm not saying adultery is okay. I'm, I'm not, not saying, saying you're doing anything illegal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I agree with that. I agree with that. But you, you can do this. All I want to say to you. Listen, do you we have to have husband. a wife, I mean a, a husband. One day, yes. You, uh, okay, good. I, I, I feel like that's true. Good. Yeah. You want to have a marriage that means something, right? Yeah. Right. You, and, and most people do. I, most people want that. But here's the, here's the, here's the difference. My, grand, my grandfather, my grandmother, and all their generation, they wanted that. And you're wanting the same thing that they had. They wanted it, and they had it. You're wanting it. But they went a very careful way yeah. to get that. I didn't go that way. I didn't go that way, and I regret it. I wish that I had went the way that to be. Now, there's a lot of people, they won't, they won't even kiss somebody until they're married. A yeah. lot of people are that way. Yeah. And they have a, and they're, they're going to get married and stay married. Most likely. They're, they love oh, each other. And, they, and, and yeah. so, so, for that reason, just for that reason alone, it's enough to tell you. You've got to guard your heart. Are you doing that? Are you guarding your heart? Perfect. Don't answer. Don't answer. I just want you to think about it. Yeah. Because it is it is important. You've got to guard your heart. If you want to have that marriage that you want that you that you have in mind, you can't go in any way and think that you're going to somehow or another magically get that. Yeah. Because it's two things. You've got to be. If you want a godly man, it's going to be trustworthy. It's going to love you. And be a husband to you. If that's what you want, you've got to be the kind of woman that he's gonna be choose. You've got to be right for him. Don't you and think in there, addition that he's got to be right for you? You've got to be right for him. Don't you think there are different ways to look at love though? I mean, I feel like you have a problem with the homosexuality. Here. Oh I do. You do? Okay. Yeah, sure. I understand that. I mean, that's I mean, your belief. I mean, look, I mean, listen, listen, I'm not going to disrespect your belief. I know, but do you, do you think the Bible says it? What does the Bible say? 
Do I mean, I know what the Bible Testament. says. You know what the New Testament says? I'm not saying that I believe in the Bible, but I know what the Bible says. Okay. I've read the Bible three times, well, but I'm not saying that I believe in the Bible. But listen to this. It says, for this cause, God can... I, I apologize if you guys believe in the Bible. Because no, I, no. I personally well, do not. I'm not saying I... I just I identify as agnostic because I don't know yet. I haven't found myself in that aspect. I've, I've called myself atheist for years, but I consider myself an agnostic. Yeah. I mean, I'm open to new things. Exactly. Have you ever been sorry? I'm not. I'm not putting anything on you. I'm just. I'm just advising. I'm, I'm trying to help. You're a good guy, man. But, but, but I want to. I, I want like to read you. I want to read you what the Bible says. I, you, you may not believe it, but I, I don't. But, but, I, I don't. But let me, let me read this. This is what. But this is what God says in the New Testament. This is the New Testament. Okay. For this cause, God gave him up to vile affection. Now, he told what the causes were. He gave him up to vile affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense was talking about. of their error, which was which was fitting. Have you read? I think it was in Exodus, where uh, it was in the book of Exodus. Uh, there was a man, and the three angels came to see him at his household. Okay, the three angels came, and all the people in God, I can't remember what the name the name of the town, Sodom. but Sodom. Sodom. It was Sodom. Yes, all the people. Get the connection. In, yeah, the man in the town of Sodom had three virgin daughters, okay? He had the three virgin daughters. The three angels came to see him, okay? And when the three angels came, the people of Sodom surrounded his house and said, give us the angels. The angels were all male. The, the people of the town said, give us your angels. We want to have them. We want to have sex with the angels, okay? And the man gave up his virgin daughters. He gave up his three virgin daughters. He said, take my virgin daughters. All I don't right. think he gave them up. Is that? No, no. He tried. He yeah. tried to give up he his virgin. Said that. The people of the town, though, they didn't want the virgin daughters. They wanted to have anal sex right. with the three angels. Right. But I'm, that's what I'm saying here is that that man tried to give up his virgin daughters I know, but before he would give up those three men. I know. That's good. But does that really seem righteous to you? What's the bottom line? What's the bottom line? Yeah. What? The, the bottom line is, at the end of it all, what God wants, He wants somebody in His home that's made a love commitment with Him. Yeah. He, he, wants you, he wants you to make a love commitment to Him. That's what God wants. He wants each one of us. He, the people He wants in His home, people that's made a love commitment. Now a man, a man might see you being a single lady and he might come up to you and say, I'm going to say Kathy. He might say, Kathy, I love you. He might say that, Kathy, I love you. Might be a little freaked out. Okay, but you could, and you know him, you know, you know him and he plainly says, I love you. And he means it and you know he's not playing. And you might think, oh, he's the one, I ought to marry him. But all your buddies around, He's a straight guy. He's not. Yeah. He doesn't. He's not. He doesn't believe in uh, sodomy. He, he, he goes to church. He's a straight guy. Do you know uh, yeah. Steve Nye? No, Bill. Sorry, Bill Nye. Bill Nye, the science guy. I, 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 I know like Bill Nye, not personally. You don't know Bill Nye? I know him not personally. Bill Nye, the science guy. Does, does he kind of look like Bill Nye? You look like Bill Nye. 
Bill Nye is a big celebrity. You kind of look. I know him. I know him. Oh, you do know Bill Nye. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You kind of look. Like I Bill don't Nye. know him personally. I oh, know, I mean, I don't. Either. I know his stuff. I saw she the debate. Yeah, we can. I, I wish I knew him personally. He spoke at Thompson Bowling Arena about climate change. Did he really? It was yeah, absolutely it was awesome. incredible. I didn't know that. Yeah, I dropped. I hugged. You went and saw him. Yeah. You said you hugged him. Oh, okay. I'm not going to hug Bill Nye. I but you do. He, he does kind of look like Bill Nye. I've noticed you're a very patient man. I respect you. You are. You're I respect patient. that you're out here sharing your beliefs. I know. Exactly. That's, because, that's because I love you. To I some degree. I don't love you like... I'm going to forget your name. Alex. 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 I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't record it. I hear it, but it just goes out. You're fine. I understand. <laughs> I understand. It's a, it's a nice thing for you to be out here doing this. It is. You know? and I and I feel like you do do it out of love. But you know, my friends are gay and I love them and I just want them to be supported. And even if you don't support that, which I know you don't, that's okay too. I just wish that we could all understand each other's beliefs. I understand your beliefs again, and I, I have nothing against you. Yeah. Well, you said that. I just want to shake your hand. Thank you for your conversation. Okay. Listen, I want you to get serious about, about your life. Because you to, you're not going to end up where you want to be just by going in. Hey, it's not impossible. But if you if you want to, to get to that place that we talked about, if you want to get to that place, the wise way is to is to guard your heart and try to make steps towards it. I just want to apologize for my language. It's just that it just sets off. Good. And oh, I, I apologize, but I am very strong. It should could have just all the language and profanity could have been left out. It's just that I already had something that was wrong and it's just just click. So I want to apologize for my profanity. Well, I appreciate that. But what I believe and I respect you for what you believe. But I'm also a Christianity and I know about the Lord and I also know about the Bible because that's what I was brought up on. And like adhering that a woman had to bow down to a man is just just not and so I want to apologize for all of that but I I respect you for what you believe but I also this is what I believe I love that thank you yeah. I love that thank you sir I'll see you good for you you have well, a good night brother it's nice to meet you Alex I am Brandy I don't do I don't really answer Serious, because your contact information is on this DVD, right? Yeah, it is. But I want to say this, just so you, so you I want to leave you with something. Uh, but I, I, let me let me close off that statement I was on. I, I have seen a lot of stuff, and and I, and I know I know what the end is. The end is what I was just saying. It, it, it's have you or will you? It's just everybody. Did God wants some, He wants people that have made a love commitment to Him. And the way he the way he goes out to make that possible is he came down to the earth in the form of a man and he and he laid his life down. But like these ladies, excuse me, ladies. Do you love your friends? This, this man believes that love is between a man and a woman. And I'm just saying that love is between friends. I love you too. Okay. I just, I just wanted to say that we all love each other because we're all good people. We love you. Even though he like, has different beliefs, but we love you. We love you. What I'm saying is, right? what I'm saying is, we all love each other. What? I'm sorry, to interrupt. What God, what God wants in His home is people that have made not not just that I've got sort of a general love for God. I've had that all my life, sort of a love for God. There came a time in my life. But I made a love commitment to God. I committed. But and the I, way I was able to do that, I know you don't believe in God. No, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. But the way that way that I was able, how would you make a love commitment to God? How do you do that? 
here's the way. Jesus, God, came in the form of a man. Yes, sir. And He laid His life down. And then He was raised from the dead. And now, He, can, he said this. Jesus said, The hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and as many as hear shall live. Now, I heard His voice. I heard Him speaking to me.